so much stuff. Oh my god. Hello everybody, it's Chris. And we're back with this uh, Data Flyer Expansion Systems 500 repair thing. Last we checked, I had the 500 and fired it up with the hard drive and everything was groovy. And then something happened and the car stopped working. So I had to take the auto boot room out of my other data flyer scuzzy. I took the auto boot ROM and the comparator chip. So I went on eBay as usual like I do at night and I ordered myself a new comparator chip. That is this little, uh, what is it? Uh, this 74521N. It's a comparator chip. It compares two voltages and then outputs the result. And that is what was preventing me from having the card work. Not auto boot, just work. So I went on eBay and I found a comparator chip and I ordered two of them because I figured I'm going to break one. Well, little did I know, it was two orders of ten. So now I have enough comparator chips to last me the rest of my daggone life. Just like I bought the memory, just like I bought the sockets. I'm never going to use all these things. So we're going to take one of these new turds. I don't know if these are NOS or retinned Chinese bend outs. They look like they are just retinned. Who knows? But they are the exact same part. What we're going to do is we are going to remove this. Excuse the flux. I was soldering a wire that I bodged off. Whoops. Not that one. Not that one. We're going to take this comparator out and put this comparator in. Ta-da, all fixed. Thanks for watching. No, we gotta make sure it works. I had a power issue, so my cords are like a little stretched right now and kind of all over the place. It's been a, a crazy couple of weeks here. So we're just gonna plop my keyboard back on here. And I need this magic little connector here. So much stuff. Oh my God. I'm just putting that in there. It's the daggone power. I don't have to hold it. So, you know what might help? If I turn it on. <laughs> so we're just gonna see if it sees it now. I do still have to do the EEPROM for the auto boot. I am waiting on some parts to arrive from the great land of Chahina. All right, we're back in business. We see the hard drive with that weird, I don't know what it is. Now, the funny thing is, is this actually, I believe, has workbench. Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is put all this stuff back together. Hi guys, it's Chris and we're continuing on with our Data Flyer Expansion Systems 500 for the 500. Last time I did this, we left off at the comparator and we found out that the auto boot chip was toast. So we're not get rid of that. That's no good. So now what? Uh, I spent a couple of weeks showering and scouring the interwebs there and found that eBay thing again. And I found a guy in uh, Tacoma, Washington. His name is Tim. I'm not going to give his last name out. But I'll link his uh, eBay store below. He's doing custom ROMs here for GVP, uh, the Commodore 2091s, like the Guru. The V7s, uh, I asked him, I said, hey, can you do a data flyer ROM? And he says, do you have the code? And I said, I have 2.1. He's like, I got it. I can do it. Two days I got this, $7. Outstanding job. Hope it works. Uh, so it just says data flyer 2.1. It's a brand new chip, it looks like. And uh, I guess we'll just put it in. Now, so let's get cooking on this sucker. 
So I just put the Data Flyer ROM in. Now remember, I installed Workbench. I think it was 1.3. So that was that. Uh, we all hooked up here. I guess so. I don't have my ground strap on because I'm not like I'm not touching anything to damage it. I don't, you know, I don't think I got any static. But yeah, let's just uh, let's hit the button. Okay, so so here the old girl. My monitor's not crooked. My tripod is because that's that's for speed. You get it going this way. It makes it faster. Oh, I think it's booting. Ah! Auto boot 2.1. Thank you, Tim. Yay! So this is Workbench 1.3.2. Yep. 34.28.1.3.2. Uh, yeah, it has nothing on it but the little, uh, you know, one floppy disk of crap and the uh, extras disc and I put Amiga Explorer on it in case I wanted to drag and drop stuff but we got a whopping 42 megabytes free we have one mega RAM I mean it's not the hottest ticket on the planet you can put the 8 meg board on here and have an 8 meg Amiga well 9 if you count the extra chip RAM you're gonna get so you know I have the board but I'm using it in something else right now and I do like to have that board to flip flop between well, now this one, my other SCSI board, and the IDE board that I have, we could have another working case. It's not that loud. I kind of enjoy the sound of the, the old hard drives as they spin and click and clunk along. And with the drive light, it kind of makes you feel a little bit more nostalgic. Uh, if you're noticing here, my... my uh, print screen slash asterisk key decided to jump ship. I got it right here. It's the uh, little, uh, yep, that thing not holding on anymore. The keyboard thingy. And I sprang this shot out somewhere else. So, we got ourselves a Data Flyer 500 from Expansion Systems. We have a Wapen Workbench 132. That wraps it up for uh, the Data Flyer 500. And we're going to put the cover back on. I got the screws for it here that don't match and kind of fit. And this works again. We'll toss that in the archives and move on to the next thing. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.